Verse 27. Whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be whole. Mm. And when there is a sprinkle of blood there thereof upon any garment, thou shalt wash that whereon it was sprinkled in the holy place. So again, this is <clears> telling <throat> us that if you touch this thing, you're gonna be holy. And it's it's weird because a couple chapters before it tell you if you or after rather, if you touch something, it's gonna make you unclean. Right in the kingdom of God, it's like everything is reversed. It's like an upside down kingdom where instead of stuff polluting the waters, everything is healed in the waters. Same kind of idea here. Right. Everybody who touching this, because remember, only people touching it is sons of Aaron. Yep. Right. So ain't nobody else in here anyway. Right. So whatever touch is going to be holy. Right. Verse 29. One more time. Who's supposed Verse to be 20, 28. Oh, 28. Pardon me. But the earthen vessel wherein it is sodden shall be broken. And if it be sodden in a brazen pot, it shall be both scored and rinsed with water. Mm -hmm. And the males among the priests shall eat thereof. It is most holy. Right. So they ate this in the tabernacle again in the presence of God. And if you consider this is the closest that you are able to get to the presence of God. Because remember, inside the tabernacle, it's supposed to represent the Garden of Eden. That's why you got the trees and the cherubs and everything, the fruit trees, the pomegranates and the almonds, everything going on on the inside. Adam and Eve was kicked out of the garden, and that's as close as you could get to the door. So they having this holy meal in the presence of God, right?